Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Becky Bar Stewart here, I'm in Glasgow, and I'm just wondering, Jessops, full of cameras and drones and everything like that, why are the police not at them, they're pointing cameras at everybody, people seem to don't like cameras in their face these days. You're quite a sociable person, I imagine you'd go in there for a bite to eat. The Ranger Store. The most successful football team in the world. <laughs> Look at her. I'm guessing her favourite colour is pink and green. CBD TARDIS So there you go Looks like the CBD crew have taken The TARDIS off the Doctor Doctor Who's TARDIS has been vandalised, it's been painted red And the CBD crew have taken it I was in Specsavers just the other day, do you know who I bumped into? Everybody, ah ha 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 What a shit joke. This spot here in Sucky Hall Street that is empty, that's overgrowing with wild bushes. Used to be where Victoria's, the nightclub in Glasgow stood, another insurance job. Next to Grieve Sports, they took a little backhander as well for their premises being damaged in the process. And then there's good old lauders. They're still serving customers. Oh, he's got him in shot. He's got him in shot. Look, strike a pose. Strike a pose. He's definitely doing it. Come on, strike a pose for me. And action. Yep, Red Jasper are selling gimp masks. So I don't actually know who would wear these about the street. I take it this Covid style masks that are selling because there's a new variant of Covid out. Oh, sorry guys, we nearly had somebody knock us over. But yes, they've got to, they've got to be masks to protect you against new Covid variants. Got to say that place is absolutely smashing. Another shy joke. Couple of shoplifters, look, 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 they're ramming the stuff in the bag. Absolutely ramming it in. Oh, no, they're not, they're not. It's a child's bag. Ah. Thought I was catching a shoplifter there. So, these seats here, I was out doing a vlog one day last week. I've not posted it yet, but these two empty seats sitting here, there was two, and there was a couple of boy and girl fornicating the old smitchy, smitchy five star rated show. And I said to them, why don't you get a room? Do you know what their response was? Fuck off, mate. We're not doing anything wrong. I never said you were, but it was a five-star show. That's what we were getting. There he is, there he is. Yep, Doctor Who is back in town again today. Christ almighty, he loves it. Sucky Hall Street does our Doctor Who. It was read a minute ago, or am I tripping? Doctor Who must have won the war with the CBD crew and taken back control. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not having this. Not having this. What about the white sheep? What about the white sheep? Black sheep coffee. That's a racist coffee shop. What about our white sheep? Ah, come on, they're joking. Everyone has a tour bus in their city. 
including Glasgow. And it's busy, there's people on it. People make Glasgow, that's a bit discriminative. If that's even a word. There'll be people from other parts of the world that have helped make Glasgow, not just Glaswegians. False advertising. Get your camera out my face, mate. Get your camera out my face. Don't like people pointing cameras at me. Get your camera away from me. I'm warning you, mate. I'm warning you. Get your camera out my face. So, yes, guys, it's Sunday as I make this vlog. What Sunday, you ask? It's just a Sunday. Nothing better than a sober ramble around the city of Glasgow. If it was three o'clock in the morning, the streets would be covered in litter, takeaway containers. People staggering home from their nights out. I done that. I was that guy 20 years ago. I loved it. What a life. How 20 years on. Life is so much different. So much better. Through a sober set of eyes. A clear thinking brain, well, <laughs> some would argue against that. These cycle lanes, they introduced a couple of years ago. From this grey area to this grey area where this young lady's jogging. This was all roads, cars came up and down in both directions. But yes, typical Glasgow, like most other cities in the UK, traffic calming measures. They made it one way, they added greenery, they added a cycle lane. And this was all pre-Covid, they did this. Businesses have suffered. A lot have failed to come back and re-establish themselves. Then Covid struck and completely wiped a lot of businesses out. However, a lot still remained open because people, they were getting paid whilst being off work. Some, which I feel really hard, sorry for, self-employed people. I don't think they get very much help at all, if any help. But a lot of businesses stayed open because people had nothing to spend their money on, apart from like takeaways and stuff. You know, you had to have a good reason to leave your house. Bistro, I'm going to give these guys a shout out once he gets out my shot. This takeaway is also on this side of the road, but they've got another couple of premises in Glasgow. Um, I actually helped these guys when they first came into the city, I gave them some contacts for um, tilers and plumbers and joiners and just kind of helped them out because they were really nice and enjoyed the food that they were selling. Now they'd, they'd opened the premises up, they were obviously wanting to decorate it and do it up and make it as, as nice as they possibly could. And for about two years after, after just passing them some numbers, giving them some help, um, every time I went into the shop, they were plying me with, but honestly, with free food, you can have anything you want. I could have went in seven days a week and ate like a king seven days a week for years and years to come. Every time I see them now, years on, I'm talking, God, we, we could be a good 10, 12 years on from when they first opened one of their shops. I'll see them and they'll, they'll wave the hand as if, you know, come here, come here. And I'm like, no, I'm on a diet. I'm eating better. They want me in their shop. They want to give me free food still. These guys um, are Iranian. They are so nice. Um, Really affordable prices and the food is pretty decent, um, decent quality. Not just being biased. Um, it would always be a place I would have went to um, if I was in town and I was wanting something, kind of some sort of takeaway junk food to eat. Um, really tasty in Bistro in Glasgow. So get yourselves along. Two shops in Sucky Hall Street, one on West Regent Street, under um, up above Bamboo the Nightclub. So anybody that knows Bamboo the Nightclub, you'll find Bistro upstairs from you um, as well, if you're not in Sucky Hall Street. 
Ali is a great guy, honestly. He doesn't really work in the shops much anymore. Um, his brothers mostly work in the shop. Ali's kind of operating one of his other businesses. I think he's got a car rental business as well. Um, but yeah, I only done the guys a favour, I thought. It's nice to be nice. Gave them contacts and at any time I've ever seen them, or the other brothers that work in the shops, all they want to do is give me free food. I didn't even ask for it. But you know what, that's what nice people do. They're, they're really appreciative. You know what, I'm going to ask them for 10% of their takings for the past 12 years since I gave them the contacts. I wonder what they'll say about that. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'd be absolutely loaded if that was the case. The garage. The garage nightclub. It's been there since... since the dinosaur dinosaurs were, were kicking around. Definitely prehistoric. <laughs> Seen a few dinosaurs in there in my time over the years. <laughs> now, now, Specky, behave yourself. Rule Britannia. God save the king. What a beautiful flag that is. Every time I see a Union Jack hanging proudly, it reminds me how amazing it is to be British. Who was your favourite monarch? Who was your favourite member of the royal family? Let me know. Comments down below. So that's where the Statue of Liberty went. Remember David Copperfield made it disappear? He put it right here in the heart of Glasgow. Outside a bar and nightclub that sells a super cheap drink. But you see this bar, guys, Driftwood. I used to come here as a student years and years and years ago. Look at how cheap the drinks are. Shots, 80 pence. Vodka in a mix, £1.50. They've got all sorts of acts on. Unbelievable. The Scottish Government are going to ruin that though, aren't they? 65 pence a unit for alcohol. Disgraceful. Right guys, I'm going to be leaving it there for today. Remember to like, subscribe and to share the content. And to hit that little notifications bell for all my future uploads. Let's run, run, run. Hurry up, the car's coming. You know what I'm going to say? If you can't be good, be good at it. See you later, guys.